Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to Roslyn Court. My name's Maura Butler. And this evening we have Simon Kempston. We also, we also have um, Charlie Hannah, who's going to give us a song as well. Yeah, be good. Yep, yeah. And um, as usual, we have a, a, um, a raffle. Everyone in the room is in the raffle. And um, if... Um, Everyone in the room is in the raffle. You could win uh, a CD from Simon or a Who Gives a Crap Toilet Roll. Hooray! Now, at home, if you donate during the concert, fantastic, you will be put in the raffle. If you can't at the moment, then just join in the chat. Join in the chat anyway. We'd love to hear from you. And, um, and we'll put you in the, in the raffle. Okay, lovely. I'm going to start off with a bit of a song. And, um, and then we'll see how it goes, eh? Right. Um, it's a miserable song. Yeah. For all of you who are feeling cheerful, um, th yeah, this is a miserable song. <clears throat> it was written by Tommy Hanley in round about 1918, a bit before my time. <clears throat> I've got a farm, a sort of a farm, down in the middle of a swamp. There ain't no charm in my little farm Down in the middle of the swamp Nothing's grown since the day we came Misery Farm is my farm's name I'm miserable, so miserable down on Misery Farm so are the animals and so are the vegetables down on Misery Farm. The hens won't lay, you can't make hay, you work all day and you get no pay. I'm miserable, so miserable down. a cart, but part of me cart is stuck in the middle of the swamp. The old grey mare just stands and stares to see the cart just sitting there. We'll have to work all day from me now to May to get it out for Darby Day. I'm miserable, so miserable down on Misery Farm. So are the animals and so are the vegetables down on Misery Farm. The hens won't lay, you can't make hay, you work all day and you get no pay. I'm miserable, so miserable down on Misery Farm. Broccoli's blushing, watermelons dry, black eyed beans got tears in their eyes. I'm miserable. So miserable down on Misery Farm. So are the animals and so are the vegetables down on Misery Farm. The hens won't lay, you can't make hay, you work all day and you get no pay. I'm miserable, so down on Misery Farm. I thank you. Yeah. Marvellous. Okay, so Charlie. Charlie's going to give us a song now. Would you like to welcome him onto the stage, please? Yay! Yay. I 
the, the strict instruction is not to fa. But, but you're going it's to. It's stuck. <coughs> right. Well, that was lovely, Morag. Uh, I've never heard that song before, but that's incredible to hear that it's from 1918. Wow. Um, okay. I did tell Morag that professionalism is my middle name, so I hope to live up to that. <laughs> I wanted just to tell you right now a story about a man called Gregor. Now, Gregor was desperate to sell his soul, but no one would buy it. He was desperate to be bad, but he was forced to be a good man instead. And this is the story of Saint Gregor the Good. Unwittingly kind, Jesus must be grinning from ear to ear. I tried, I tried to sell my soul today But no one, no, no one was willing to pay I tried to sell my soul, it was my primary goal But like a stocking full of coal, it went unwanted I had wished to trade it in for a palace made of gin and then to flaunt it I had had my sights set on a private jet and a blue Parisian maisonette I'd sit on the Rue Pont Neuf and smoke my cigarettes Charlie in the second half. Well, we are, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, let's <laughs> look what we've done. You're going to have to hop over that guitar in order to actually get onto the stage. Right. 
Um, please can we give a really big welcome to all the way from Edinburgh, Simon Kempston. Yay! <laughs> This is my first time in Margate. Welcome. I'm looking forward to discovering it tomorrow morning. You go for a swim. I, I might go for a swim. I might go for a run along the promenade. Uh -huh. I might. Uh, Jesus, what's wrong with this mic stand? I might. Uh, I'm going to go and see some art as well. The sauna might be open. Yeah, don't go for a swim, go for a sauna. Don't go for a sauna. Go for a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm not from around these parts, as you can tell. I'm from uh, a city called Dundee up in Scotland. I live in Edinburgh now, as uh, Morag said. <laughs> Wasn't it lovely to hear Morag earlier? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful song. And I was just about to say that. <laughs> Give a man a chance. Charlie was fantastic as well, whatever he is. That was brilliant. Great song. Right, so yeah, I'm going to play a few songs, maybe an instrumental or two. Thanks for coming. Hope you like what you hear. Uh, yeah. Hello, Margaret. <laughs> to share a burden, how to share a life, how to test the boundaries of faith. Nothing feels certain, anxiety is right, sanctuary seems far away. Once bit and twice shy, three times I fooled, I'll never know. I'll run with you, darling. Yeah, I'll run with you, darling. Tonight, never free of hassle, can never work in peace. Always in the wrong company. Try to grip and grapple, but I'll never cease. Till I'm where I'm meant to be One spit and twice shot Three times I fooled I'll never know why I broke the golden rule I'll run with you down Yeah, I'll run with you down Yeah, I'll run with you down Critics know nothing, they don't get to read. Don't give them something, the ones that couldn't be. Thank you. 
a very nice. The impression that we have up in Scotland of Margate is it's a very sunny place. Is that correct? Do you get lots of sunshine and beautiful summer? See, we don't get that in Scotland. Yeah, in a typical typical uh, year, we get about four days of sunshine. You know. So, so we we in Scotland we have as much right to write the blues as anyone else. You know. So here's a wee Scottish blues for you that I wrote a few years ago. It's a song called Vulnerable Man. interesting thing about that song is there's a video for it on YouTube. Please do go and watch it. It was filmed in Serbia. There you go. Bet you don't hear that very often. And as far as we know and as far as we can tell, it's the world's only Scottish-Serbian music video collaboration. So surely worth, a, surely worth a watch for that reason alone, even if you didn't like the song, but I very much obviously hope that you did. <laughs> Yeah, when I was 17, 18, I left Dundee. When I was 17, 18, not so long ago. Thank you very much, good people of Margate. You're lovely. I'll, I'll have to come again. Thank you. You're very nice. Uh, no, uh, I wasn't uh, naughty or a tearaway or anything. No, we were. Uh, I was in a small indie folk band. We got signed to a record label. It was all very, very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. A record label 
He shall remain uh, unnamed. So named. Oh, I'm forgetting I'm on TV here. Jeez. Better watch what I say. Anyway, uh, suffice to say, uh, yeah, we, we ended up in London, four, four Scottish boys in their late teens. You can imagine the, uh, up the, the, the resultant debris and carnage. Uh, first time away from home. And uh, yeah, and uh, the cliche is always borne out, ladies and gentlemen, it is always the drummer. And in our particular circumstance, he, uh, he used to go AWOL at uh, quite important times. And uh, yeah. After a while, we got called into a meeting and told we didn't sort this out. We were on the next train to Scotland. And uh, yeah, sure enough, two and a half months later, we were on that train to Scotland. But we had a very good time in London. Not that we can remember much of it. Anyway, this is a song about that time. It's sort of a letter to my teenage self, not to worry about these things. It's all part of growing up as a musician, as a person. And, uh, you know, don't take it too hard and don't, don't take it too hard. It's called Careless Intervention. <laughs> Bye. 
but the end understanding it couldn't compensate for the time I'd miss and you mistook me for a modern not a careless interventionist and all I had I left behind me on the my own bed And of course, it, if it had all worked out with that band and we'd gone on to become the multi-million record-selling artists that uh, had been planned for us, then I wouldn't be standing here in uh, beautiful Margate this evening, this wonderful room with you all. And I know where I'd rather be, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're going to play a brand new song now. It's uh, just released an album and... Uh, this is the lead single from it. It's called Impunity, and it's yeah, it's just all about the way the the press in this country, how they behave, what they get away with. Uh, it doesn't happen in many countries around the world, and I know from personal experience from having travelled around, yeah, so in a lot of places. So uh, yeah, it's kind of what the song tackles. Yeah, here we go. <laughs>
I just uh, say to all the people at home who are watching, um, if you are in a position to donate, it would be really wonderful if you could help us put on these shows because um, we're a very small organisation and we would... <laughs> We would like as much help as we can get, please. If you want a suggestion, then um, Simon's come all the way from Edinburgh. So I would I suggest perhaps if everybody gave the cost of some Edinburgh rock, that would be really sweet. I thank you. I thank you. I'm here all week. Thank you very much. Um, Simon, where can people who are not in the room get your CDs from? They can go to my website, which is www.simonkempston.co.uk and just click on the music tab and all the available albums can be, can be bought there. Brilliant. That's great. Thank you. I will push off then. Carry on. Thank you. Meet my beautiful handmade guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't she stunning? There's only one guitar like this in the whole wide world. Made especially for me, if you weren't already excited about seeing me, and I'm sure you were, good people of Margate, you seem lovely, uh, be excited about seeing her. It's her first time in Margate too, obviously. And uh, made in a handmade in a small fishing village in the East Nuke of Fife, uh, called Pit and Weem by Scotland's best acoustic guitar luthier, a guy called Rory Dowling. And, uh, that's my cheeky way of saying I'm going to present an instrumental piece for you now, okay? I also write music for... Yeah, the acoustic guitar and the classical guitar, and yeah, it's nice to. I find it's nice to break up the set sometimes, play a bit of a, play a bit of acoustic guitar. So we did an album a few years ago called uh, "Onwards She Travels," and this is a piece that I did, that, I, that that's on that album. It has the self-explanatory title, "There Is a Hot Lady in My Bedroom." Why the laughter? It does happen sometimes. There's a hot lady in my bedroom. I shall be needing a very strong whiskey. Okay, that's the full title. <laughs> If you like that, I'm going to play some uh, instrumental stuff later. Don't worry. If you didn't, I'm still going to play some instrumental stuff later. I think 
at this point, I'll switch guitars. This is a good old fashioned blues about. T I hope there's no robbers and thieves in Margate. I'm sure there's not. It seems lovely, yeah. But if there are, I hope they're as stupid as these two guys from Edinburgh. It's a true story about six and a half, seven years ago. Uh, and remember, robbing was their job. You do think they'd be quite good at it. They set out uh, on a job uh, to try and rob a house located next, true story, to the largest police station in Scotland. I mean, even the Scottish police service couldn't fail to catch them, you know. And of course, Scotland doesn't have a lot of news. Uh, so this was all over it, you know, and uh, I thought it was quite amusing and I uh, put it into the blues. It's called Down From The Dock. Remind me of a gunshot sound You weren't the only one who turned around What happened to that bond of trust? Couldn't shake off your big game rust You had your hands up Said it was a fair cop Told them to take you down Exit plan signed off a I couldn't fathom if you deceived me. You didn't show up the wrong day, fool. I knew then what had happened to you. You had your hands up, said it was a fair call. Told them to take you down. I down from the dock. Here we go. I want that dock. of imprisonment You were given punishment There was no more than we deserved Perhaps just at that time we'd serve You had your hands up Said it was a fair call Told them to take you down From the door Sympathy for the men left behind. Miscreants, lowest of mankind. I look forward to the day we're free. Be reunited with my dignity. And I put my hands up. I said it was a fair call. I told them to take me down. Put my hands up, said it was a fair call, told them to take me down from the dock, right down from the dock, right down from the dock, right down from the dock. Very nice. I'm going to play a little uh, 
heartbreak ballad now, okay? For all the heartbroken people out there in the audience. Don't worry, I will address I will address the lovers later on, okay? There'll be a love song in the second half, I promise, I keep my word. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start start off with the heartbreak and misery, I always find. <laughs> So this is a song called He Remembers You. you breathe The embers are smoldering ashes of deceit You gave him your love Gave him your life Forever true And I cannot be in all your dreams. I can only be in one. Can't imagine how you felt Begin to understand In sickness and in health It was to take your hand You gave him your love Give him your life forever too. You all remember him. He remembers you.
So this is my first tour of Europe, uh, this first European tour this year, uh, touring a few English concerts, lovely to be here in your beautiful country. My previous tour, you guys have got a lot to live up to, was in South America, so there you go, I know, uh, but you know, Margate, come on. It's a strange old job, this, you know, traveling around the world, playing music for a living. You either have to, I think, really, really, really love it or be a bit crazy in the head. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the first one. <laughs> but maybe you'll think differently by the end of the evening. It's up to you, obviously. I have a friend who has an even crazier job than me. You're wondering, what does he do? I'll tell you, that's my job. He's a professional boxer. Crazy, I know. He's had 86 fights. How many has he won? Four. He really loves boxing. You know, it's his dedication, his devotion, his commitment to his chosen uh, vocation in life is quite admirable given that uh, this uh, current losing streak that he's on. And uh, But he's quite well known in Edinburgh, uh, especially amongst the community near to where, where I live. He does a lot in that community for charity, uh, for health and fitness, uh, especially amongst the elderly, but also the young as well, the youth. And uh, everybody loves him. Nobody's a bad word to say about him. And I was sitting there writing a song one day, thinking to myself, all the rich and famous boxers, they've got songs written about them, films written about them, books written about them, and all the money they could ever want or need. I thought, this guy deserves a song. I'm going to write it for him. But before I did so, I foolishly told him that I was going to do that. And he said to me, turned to me, shot me a glance, he went, Simon, make sure the song's a good one. Under pressure, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can decide. Here's the song. It's called Broken Before. <laughs> for clamor I fight for love no glitz or glamour inside my left glove keep my mind focused on the job ahead crowd swarms like locusts I'm calm in my head can't think of danger peril or ill find the game changer of a skill Corner and try to boost my morale. Scream and they cry to give it my all. Breaking, I've been broken before. Aching, shaken to the core. I'll rise to the test. I'll give my best. That's what I've been. With men who were fast and young, plow on in vain, a hero unsung. Can't rival speed, can rival the youth. Bruise and I bleed, another smash too. Can't show I'm hurt, I feel pain. Come through the worst, then come again. Take a beating, more punishment, pencil defeated. I sit there, I said, breaking, I've been broken before. Aching, shaken to the core, I'll rise to the test. I'll give my best, that's what I've been paid for. at home, duck and I dodge, it's all I've known, 
One hundred fight towels never coming. Survived every night, retirement spare coming. Breaking up and broken before. Aching, shaken to the core. I'll rise to the test. I'll give my best. That's what I've been paid for. Oh, yeah, very nice. I love it here. Here's a little song I wrote in Tajikistan. I bet you've never heard that said before on the stage. So there you go. You remember me for that, if nothing else. That's back in the days pre-COVID when you can travel. Remember those days? Yeah, so it was, uh, they were wonderful, weren't they? And uh, yeah, sort of back into 2018, I wrote those songs. Because I won't take this chance again. I was 
along Said not to carry the blame No matter how often I need to go I'd still feel the same So I quit the talking for the drink Could you pull two? We can't have a folk event without a raffle. So pick one, yeah, one pick two, two, please. Tell me which one's first. Because it matters. Claire Cameron. Claire Cameron in the room? No? Okay. <laughs> Claire, let me know what your address is, please. You've, I've put my... Um, right, that's lovely. Next one. You've won the CD, Claire, if you could send me your address. Sue Robson. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> Fix. Yeah, Sue, you've won a Lou roll. That's fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've got one more song, please, and then we finish the first half. Brilliant. Thank brilliant. You. Lovely. Thank you. You've been wonderful. Thank you very much. In the break, do you, don't be shy. Come and say hi. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, so if you've got any questions about the, <laughs> the songs, the music, the, the guitars, life, life on the road as a musician, just come and ask. I do have lovely compact discs with all the songs available uh, that I played this evening just over there. Please do take a look. My brand new one called You Can't Win Every Time. I've got an instrumental one if you like instrumental music. Uh, and uh, yeah, all the, yeah, just come and have a look. Take a flyer. They cost nothing. Yeah, I'll come and have a chat. That also costs nothing. I'm going to finish off with a little instrumental, actually. Why not? It's a romantic instrumental I wrote for two very good friends of mine that uh, were getting married. And, uh, yeah, they called me up one day and asked them if I would do this for them. I said, absolutely. I called them up a couple of weeks later. I said, I've got the piece for you. And they said, that's brilliant. I said, can I come around and play it for you? They said, no. I said, no, I should come around and play it for you to check you like it. And they said, nope, we trust you implicitly. We've followed your music for years. Just play it on the day. Ladies and gentlemen, the most nerve-wracking gig of my life. <laughs> lunch, drinking whiskey before lunchtime is not recommended unless under extreme duress, like the circumstances just described to you. And uh, yeah, but it all went well. They're still married. Didn't do any harm, they've got two lovely children now, and yeah, so, you know, they liked it, and uh, yeah. So this is the piece, it's called Till Death Do Us Part. It's also from that album, the instrumental one, On Which She Travels. <laughs>
Thank you. Come and see Lois. Thanks. Simon Kempston, everybody, first half. Yep. And can I also say thank you for the first half for, for, um, for uh, uh, Charlie Hannah, who, who sang a beautiful song earlier on, um, to Roger, who's been filming, to film, who, Phil, Phil who's, film, who's been filling, yeah. <laughs> Phil, who's been doing the cameras, uh, to John, who's been doing the sound, yep, and um, Andrew on the door, um, Lizzie up in Gala Shields near you, um, doing the social media, and um, and also Jodie around the corner doing the same thing, um, my daughter uh, <laughs> Chloe for generally running around, <laughs> and um, thank you everybody. Next week we've got Emily Slade, very popular, very popular, yeah. And uh, she's performed with people like Phil Beer and stuff like that. Nice. And after the... Sorry? Oh. oh, who did I miss? <gasps> I'm so sorry. She's not standing there. The problem is she's not standing there. Every, every, I sweep the room. In her penny at the bar, Naomi. Yay! Yeah, yeah. I do apologise. I've got you down here as well. I'm just rubbish. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So next week we've got Emily Slade, and we've also we've got um, Sally Ironmonger is actually running the event next week, which is very exciting. Uh, the following week we've got Gumbo, who are uh, three hairy men locally, uh, playing blues, country, ragtime, and spiritual. Uh, no, you don't need to sing now. And um, then the following week. Twinkle, twinkle. Uh, the following week, we've got our uh, event for the Power of Women um, Festival, which is Sally Ironmonger and Brian Cart Bar Carter, Pat Turner, Lynn Herald, and Helen North. That's fantastic. But you have to get your, co your tickets from the Power of Women uh, website, which is... Um, Chloe, I think you should come off there, my darling. And, and then following that, we've got a St. Patrick's um, open mic night, which um, is... By donation, we'll send the donations to the RNLI, and that is the start of our new Irish evenings. Once a month, we're going to have Irish evenings from from um, April the third Tuesday in the month. Um, Una will be here, and I will be in my penny at the bar, which will be great, More lovely. Right. You're where. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew's um, wearing a Guinness top in anticipation of this. Right, so for people at home, can we just say thank you again to Simon Kempson and Charlie Hannah? Thank you. We, we are having a, a quick break, and then we're back here to do it all again. Um, I forgot to tell um, uh, Simon that he's got a question and answer after the break, but um, I'm sure he'll manage admirably. Uh, get your questions ready. And um, thank you very much. See you all next week. Bye. Bye-bye.